Good evening to you. I am Rashi Vats and only on Fox tonight, gruesome new details from inside of a home some are describing as a torture chamber. We've already reported on the tortoises and dogs rescued from inside, but now we're hearing from a woman who says her friend was held captive there for more than a year. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf live tonight after meeting exclusively with this friend. Matthew. Well, Rashi, tonight this friend is angry. She says all the attention has been focused on the animals rescued and not the person held hostage who had to run for her life. He was hiding in the attic. An exclusive Fox 26 interview outside the beat up and busted home of last week's standoff. This is the car he drove a few days right before it worked fine and this is what he did to it. Stacy Poindexter now describing the gruesome details her best friend survived inside. He's walking around her house with an axe and beating her in the face. For two years, Stacy says Thomas Abercrombie Jr. lived with her friend at this house off Glen Willow Drive. She hasn't left the house but three times in a year and a half because she's afraid of him. At least eight times, Stacy called the sheriff's office to check on her. The first two they yelled at me, called me back, wasting their time. Last week, something changed. Someone from the house called authorities on Stacy. I'm our only friend that's looking for her. Nobody's looking for her. The police are not helping me for a year and a half. Every time they come out, they want me out of the picture. The situation only growing more intense. Stacy says her best friend became a hostage in her own home. He got, pulled the gun out and shot, and he said, I'm going to kill you. Why don't I just shoot you in the head? So then for four more days, he kept her captive. No food, no water. Nothing. Last Thursday, Stacy says the woman ran out of this house for her life to her neighbor's home, knocking on the door for help. I said, how did you get away? How did you get away? And she said, he laid down to take a nap. And I said, what's he going to do when he wakes up and you're not there? She said, he'll come looking for me here. The victim taken away for help as a standoff between authorities and Thomas dragged on. They had to blow out the wall and put tear gas in there to get him out after 12 hours. Four tortoises and three dogs rescued from the home in what animal cruelty investigators describe as deplorable conditions. She's a very kind soul, she's quiet. Stacy now thankful her best friend is alive. If somehow he sees this, what would you tell him? <laughs> Stay in jail, leave us alone. I don't wanna say anything worse than that. The sheriff's office says every time there was a welfare check, they responded to that home. At this hour, Abercrombie remains in the Harris County Jail. Live in the studio, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.